Hello friends, welcome back again to my channel. Thank you for coming back once more to hear what the Lord would have us know. My name is Sharon. I pray this word that is coming right now meets the right person. So please do well to engage and um, like the video so that the person who has it gets it. Somebody is under fear. Somebody is afraid of something. And it, is, it came from a place of an action that happened in the past. And then this action brought about a certain curse or a certain word of threat or this action that happened um, just made somebody very angry against you. And maybe you didn't even intend to do what you did or what you did, you didn't know it would bring about the kind of effect it brought. I'm trying very hard to piece the way I'm hearing it for this person. Maybe you didn't really know the effect or you are not too sure that the effect will get the kind of reaction that it eventually got and somebody was pissed about it and threats were made and now you are afraid or maybe you are just agitated about what is to come from that person. This Bible verse is for you today. It says in the book of Proverbs 16, please do want to go read Proverbs 16. I'll leave the verse on the video. It says, if a man's way pleases the Lord, he will make even his enemies to be at peace with him. If a man's way, when a man's way pleases the Lord, he will make even his enemies to be at peace with him. Um, please do well to be on the Lord's side. Yes, because when... Um, we are in trouble. We are humans. We get into different issues at different times. Um, it's the grace of God that keeps a whole lot of us from not getting into it. You may have gotten into yours in the past and uh, you have turned a new leaf and um, now you, you are walking with the Lord. So this, Bible, this word right now may not really be for you, but if you are that person who has gotten yourself into something that somebody is angry about and the person has made words of threat or the person has declared certain things and um, that they will come after you or whatever, please do well to go to the camp of the Lord and ask for mercy. <laughs> yes, restitution can happen at some point, but for now, the Bible verse says, when a man's way pleases the Lord, at some point, the Lord is going to make them change their mind about you. So it's better and best right now to align with the Lord sincerely not just because you want the lord to fight your battle go back to the lord make peace with god walk with god do your best to to be repentant of what you have done as i said maybe you didn't even know it was wrong but if you did it and you knew you did the wrong thing and you ran to the lord for shelter for mercy for grace i pray for you today may that man or that woman that is coming for you May they be at peace with you from this day in the name of Jesus. God has the heart of every man in his hand. Yes, the heart of a king is in the hands of the Lord and he turned it. From this day, may the Lord turn the heart of your adversaries or the heart of your pursuers to be at peace with you in the name of Jesus. Sometimes some of us don't know the efficacy of little prayers like this. Some persons will not see it as anything necessary. But have you ever been pursued by someone? <laughs> have you ever been dead or threatened by someone and you lose your rest and your peace? If you have been in that category and the Lord sends mercy to you by causing them to be at peace with you, you will know the value of this prayer. I make this prayer once more. May everyone that is against you or after you for what you did, you may not know that the thing you did is wrong or you may know that it is wrong, whatever category you fall in, because you are now with the Lord, because the Lord has shown you mercy. May he stay the heart of that person right now to be at peace with you. When they encounter you eventually again, they will just not even mind you. Some will just walk past you like they don't even, you don't exist to them because they have they have passed it. They have, the Lord has spared their heart and they have forgiven you. Some you may need to do restitution. May the Lord give you the grace to know what to do and which to do. But I pray for you. They will be at peace with you from this day in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes, that's your word. That's someone's word today. This story also is likened to the story of Jacob and Esau. When Esau eventually found Jacob, he was at peace with him. So also you will be at peace with your pursuers in the name of Jesus. 
I make this prayer for you as so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, friends. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.